uh, welcome back to uh, ultrasound teaching videos with dr arshad nadeem awan hope you are all okay hope you are all enjoying your life hope you are also enjoying practicing ultrasound watching my videos and a lot more activities related to academics uh, today my topic of discussion is uh, uterine position uterus position this is a really very confusing topic many a time a clinician get confused when he is performing transabdominal ultrasound so on, on transabdominal ultrasound they cannot uh, figure out which position of the uterus uh, they can describe but as far as tvs is concerned so there is edge uh, some edge on the tvs scan over the transabdominal so you can get some more information in uh, respect with respect to its position uh, whether it is retroverted or it is uh, antiverted or it is retroflex or whatever uh, you call as uh, um, antiflex so there are uh, four positions beside this there is also another axial position which we cannot appreciate on the trans uh, abdominal scan so the benefit of the trans abdominal and trans vaginal i have also discussed uh, this in video and beside this i have also collected some of the images on the basis of the images you will be able to understand which position i'm going to write on my report that the patient has this position beside this i have also mentioned that it is very vital that you should have to have a full bladder while you scanning the patient so ask the patient that he should be with full bladder and then scan the patient for the transabdominal while in transvaginal there is no need for the full bladder and then you can do the scan straight away directly so there are certain advantages of the transvaginal uh, scan over transabdominal which i have clarified here and beside this i have also clarified the positions whether it is retroverted retroflex or it is antiverted or antiflex so i'm sure this video will definitely going to help you so start watching these images and uh, start benefiting from this video On this ultrasound image, you can clearly see uh, distended urinary bladder and uh, uh, beneath you can see the uterus and its position. This is transabdominal scan and on transabdominal scan, this uterine position is antiverted and anti-flexed. Actually, on the transabdominal scan, you need to have the full bladder, otherwise you might mistake for the position of the uterus. So make sure that the patient has full bladder and after filling of the bladder then you can comment on the uterus position so for this uterus position is concerned it is anti-verted and anti-flex inside uh, endometrium can easily be seen myometrial pattern can also be visualized if you have a look so on the top of uh, the uterus near the fundus a small ovary is also visible and down part you can see the vaginal canal as well so these are all area you can easily appreciate if you have the full bladder if there is no full bladder so please do not comment on the position of the uterus and directly go for the transvaginal scan on the transabdominal scan sometimes it's difficult to distinguish between some positions which i will discuss later on but here on this image you can see that the uterus position is antiverted and antiflex on trans abdominal uh, scan with full bladder so this is transvaginal scan and here on this transvaginal scan you can conclude on the position of the uterus which is retroverted and retroflex retroversion in the retroversion position you would see that the cervix would be towards the left side and the fundal would be towards the right side just keep this in your mind whenever you come across with this position you can confidently comment on that this is retroverted and retroflex uterus as this is transvaginal scan transvaginal scan is uh, uh, always uh, i mean give you complete detail of the uterine all components myometrium is clearly visible endometrium or endometrial layer is, layers are clearly visible there is no mass lesion on this image you can see small fluid in cul sac as well so transvaginal scan is preferable because you can see all these part and so far the position is concerned you can clearly comment on the position because in infertility cases and especially fertility clinics they required the position of the uterus 
for the further management. So confidently report that the uterus position is retroverted and retroflex on transvaginal scan. Uh, this is another transvaginal scan and here you can see that the uterus position is antiverted but it is retroflexed. So there are two different components involved so far the position is concerned. One is version and another is flexed. So antiverted and retroflexed uterus you can see it will appear like this. Endometrial thickening is clearly visible. Myometrial pattern you can easily appreciate. Fundal uh, region is visible although you can see small fluid in the cuddly sac and this is transvaginal scan. If you examine this patient on the transabdominal, it would not be easy for you to uh, comment on the position of the uterus because this would be directly under the beam of the ultrasound, uh, ultrasound beam and it will make you confuse whether it is fibroid or it is uterus so it will mimic like a fibroid so it is better to go for the transvaginal scan and it will help you to find out so this is antiverted and retroflexed uterus this position is entirely a uh, different position uh, which is called as axial uterine position so the uterus is perpendicular to the ultrasound beam when you are doing transabdominal but in transvaginal scan it would be clear to you that it is in the axial line in the midline and its position would be look like this as you are observing and it is the transvaginal scan so comment on that that the uterus position is axial uh, position it is lying in the axial uh, line and uh, there is no other pathology can be seen you can comment on the endometrial thickening you can comment on the myometrial pattern and you can comment if there is any adnexal region or adnexal region pathologies so this position is called as axial uterine position so i do hope that now it's easy for you to distinguish between antiverted antiflex retroverted retroflex and especially axial uterine position because now all these four images can easily demonstrate uh, that uh, which type of a position you are gonna write on the report and comment on it.